How do we prepare palm trees for a serious cold in North Texas? With palm trees, the first thing that we would all say, and no one wants to hear it, is don't plant one in North Texas if you can possibly avoid it. We're not South Texas, and these don't grow native, and there's kind of a reason for that. Um, secondly, the best way to prepare a, coal, uh, a palm for a serious cold snap is to do what I'm out here to do, which is water these things heavy. You'll notice I do have some old C9 Christmas lights on here. That's kind of an insurance policy and more out of professional curiosity. But when it comes to wrapping a palm tree with burlap or shade cloth, the, uh, the, the, the data suggests that palms are not endothermic. They don't generate heat. So wrapping them doesn't help insulate them for any real amount of time. Um, it could be argued. Um, additionally, what really does warm them up is the sunshine. And when you wrap them, you block that. So we recommend not wrapping palms. But if you do, I would make sure you take it off just as quickly as possible because it can shade the crown and cause it to actually be colder. And also it can trap in, in a, and hold moisture around this, this really important part of the tree, causing problems down the road or causing fungal issues, rots, other things like that. So when the jury all comes back, it's a really old school thing to do, which is wrapping palm trees. A lot of guys really believe in it. I've never been a big subscriber for it. Just knowing that if you wrap two layers of burlap around me and sit me on the pool deck, I'm not going to be much warmer for it. Um, C9 Christmas lights um, might help. Um, what they really recommend is that you put C9 lights around and then wrap it. But in my world, that just seems like a really bad fire hazard. So I water them heavy. I don't use them when I don't have to, but water heavy and, um, and keep a good fertility program is the best insurance policy.